Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an unboxing for, I believe, a tarot deck and an oracle deck. Um, I have the packages. I have not opened them yet. Uh, these are decks that I pre-ordered a while back. And I know there's another coming out. And I can't remember what it is. I pre-ordered them off for of Amazon. And... Um, is it next month? Is there one coming out next month? I think I have another one coming. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, um, they came a while ago. And I'm just, basically, I'm just now getting around to opening them. So, uh, let's get started. This one, look, this is how this one came. Like, what is this? What is that? You can, I, I'm, t I'm touching the deck. I'm touching the deck. So much so, I pulled the deck out. Like, what is that? <laughs> it came at my doorstep. And that's how it came. Like, luckily, you know, it didn't fall out the box or anything. But what the heck? Seriously. Anyways, this one is the Tarot de la Nuet. Newt? Nuet? I don't know. I'm butchering it. Pretty sure. But let's just dig right on in and this is a low scarabio deck this is a pretty significant box like i'm not accustomed <laughs> i'm not accustomed to boxes like this from low scarabio i'm just i'm gonna be honest i'm not oh and this book i'm not accustomed from low scarabio either do i have a deck that has a pretty significant book from them. I'm not sure. Anyways, does that elf I got have? Anyways, so here's the book. Um, gonna. It's written in multiple languages as usual. So. English speaking portion ends at page 60. And so you get, I mean, a pretty good size for, you know, low scarabio. Um, I think a lot of the ones I've had just has like keywords or whatever, and this has keywords. Um, but also there's phrases, so like, under strength it says, tame the beast within. The lover says, love is always a choice. Um, let's see, eight of pentacles, under my agus. I never know how to pronounce that. Um, I believe it's uh, something that's on Athena's shield. I think it was gifted to her by Zeus I can't remember six of swords says uh, toward new shores so there are keywords um, a key phrase associated with each card and then you get a brief little something um, on the card meaning and then you get keywords here so that's kind of cool and then you get um, a spread. How many spreads? One spread. The, the night spread. It says that uh, this that spread is specifically designed for this deck. So anyway, so okay, so I took off the top and like that's a pretty sturdy box. Um like I said, I'm not accustomed. <laughs> To that from Lo Scarabio, but anyways, ouch. Let's just unwrap it from the plastic. And here's the back. That's cute. I like that. It's moon. Looks like a full moon, but like with the phases in it. So going from crescent to 
and I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. So here's the title card. And this deck has no borders. Um, I'm not going to show all the cards. Maybe I'll do a flip through video of it. So I'll just show some of the cards. So here's um, the Fool. And it is glossy. Um, the cards, the card stock is pretty substantial. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Smooth. It's more glossy on the front than the back. The back is almost like a matte, while the front is glossy. Uh, do a few of the majors. So there's the magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor, they're a little sticky. Emperor. The Hierophant. Oh, I like this one. The Lovers. It's the Chariot. Okay, let's skip some. Hmm, it's the wheel, interesting. The hanged man. Oh gosh. Sorry from out of frame. <laughs> um so here's death. Uh looks like there might be a, a little bit of nudity in here. It's the tower. Get to some of the minors. Here's the Ace of Cups. Here's Two of Cups. Let's see. Oops. Goodness, okay. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Here's five of Wands. And Here is the Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So that is Tarot de la Nuit, Nuet. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just leave it as is. All right. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of like uh, some of the images on this deck here. Okay, so here's the next image. I was have such a hard time ripping this, and the freaking thing is like perforated. So, what's my issue? Ouch. <laughs> no. Did I just pop the back of my panel? Sure did. So sad. kind of distracted here keep looking at the TV because I have on the Halloween marathon okay this one is an oracle deck this hmm. oh, plastic. there you go all right so this is the Alice in Wonderland oracle deck and it is by Lucy Cavendish, and the artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So here's the box, and it is a Blue Angel. Oh, what's this now? 
I remember getting paper and a little thin sheet of paper on top before. All right, so here's the booklet. Um, in the booklet, you get, so you have like the phrase and then like a little one sentence meaning of the phrase. But underneath that, in the guidebooks, you get this, uh, you get a quote. Then you get a brief uh, description of the card. Then you get the divin divination meaning and what it means in reverse. So let's see. Let's go to the beginning here of this book. <laughs> Well, it's cute. Um, got quotes from Alice in Wonderland on the beginning of the introduction. And it tells you how to work with it, gives you some information about the deck. It's pretty cool. You also get um, some spreads, few spreads. So you have a three card spread, the Celtic cross, down the rabbit hole spread, and through the looking glass. Hmm. It talks about some energy work as well with the deck. Um, and caring for the energy of your deck. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and I mean, and you get pictures of the cards, but they're so small. It's hard to see. And they're black and white. I almost feel like the pictures <laughs> doesn't even need to be there. Um, just because of how small it is. It makes it hard to see. So, um, bye. Okay. So here's the back of the deck. Looks like, also, uh, it reminds me of Queen of Hearts. Could be wrong. That's what it reminds me of. So again, um, I'll just show some of the cards. I won't do a full flip through. Um, this deck is also borderless. So I'll just so show some of the cards and maybe I will do a, um, again, sticky, uh, a d very glossy deck, glossy back and front. Um, again, maybe I'll do a flip through of the deck at some point. Wait, what? It's like they're sticking together. I mean, not. I'm sure like once shuffled, you know, it'll, it'll solve that problem. It's not sticking like, um, like the issue I had, what was it? The psychic, the psychic tell where it's, I went through like three decks. I had to keep sending back because they stuck together and it was so bad that Trying to unstick them uh, was tearing the cards apart. So I've always loved Jasmine Beckett. What was it Jasmine Beckett Griffith's artwork? <laughs> it was a Cheshire cat. That cat looks creepy as heck to me. <laughs> I know there are some people who think. The Cheshire cat from the Disney movie looked creepy. I didn't think it looked creepy. This cat looks downright creepy to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So. And then there's that. So. Yeah. Um, I might do a flip through of these. Um, I don't know yet. I have other videos that should be coming up here recently that I've filmed, um, that I've recorded, and 
I may or may not edit them. I don't even know. Um, but there's one coming up of my uh, Divine Feminine Altar, which, you know, I haven't put the finishing touches on it yet. Um, and that's mainly because I don't have some of the things that I want to put on there right now. But um, it's far enough along to where I feel like I can share it that, you know, um, it's basically looking how I want it to for the most part. And then I should have a... Uh, is it Dex for Fall or Dex for Shadow Work? I can't remember. Um, but they'll pretty much be my Fall decks. If it's if I just said Shadow Work in the video, I honestly can't remember. They are. Um, I am going to be doing Shadow Work, and um, a lot of those decks are decks that I'm considering to use for my Shadow Work, and they will be Tarot and Oracle decks. Um, but they will also be my fall deck. So all the, pretty much all the decks that's in that video that will be coming up are decks that I'm going to work with for the fall. And uh, I'm still working on learning tarot. And right now I'm working on being able to build the story. So I'm just doing three card spreads right now. And um, I just want to learn how to build a story in the cards. Um, so based upon not so much the book definition, but maybe what I see in the cards, um, the images that jump out at me, things like that. So anyways, <laughs> it's a process for me um, because I haven't been able to study them like I want. Uh, I, haven't been a I haven't been able to commit the time. And a lot of that is due to me just being exhausted. <laughs> um, these past couple of months, I really have not been sleeping at night. Um, I don't know. It's a thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I'm just so exhausted during the day, you know, that I just don't have the energy to do a lot of the things that I want to do is what it boils down to. Um, also, I'm working on another a second channel. I've had it for a while now. But now I'm really starting to put content on it. Um, and so I'll be sharing that in the near future as well. It's not anything to do with spirituality. Um, it's just me and my likes. <laughs> um, it mainly consists of hair videos, uh, hauls like makeup, um, things like that, uh, reviews on products. Um, I'll probably have craft stuff on there at some point when I get back into crafting. Um, what else? I don't know. I might have, I do have a cooking video on there. I might put up more cooking videos on there. We'll see. So there's that. I really want to do a curry video. I really want to film a curry video. I love curry chicken. And um, I do want to film some videos on foods from my, uh, as part of my ethnicity. I'm very mixed, a very multicultural <laughs> person. So I have a lot of different ethnic backgrounds. Um, but Caribbean is a big part of it. Um, you know, my family's from different places in the Caribbean. And... Um, so that has more of an influence on me. So, or that's more what I relate to. Let's put it like that. That's more of the side of my family that I relate to than any other of the, um, ethnic backgrounds that I have. So anyways, uh, this is just a bunch of things, a bunch of things that I'm, um, I'm hoping to have come up on that channel and, um, yeah. So I'll be sharing that in the near future as well. And there'll be some other videos coming out. I have more um, tarot cards um, and oracle card flip throughs coming up as well. Um, 
more altar shares. I'm going to be redoing my main altar as well. I'll also be doing um, sharing recipes. Um, I'm going to be working on a goddess incense, actually. And so that will be something that I'll share. Um, soon I'm going to be making more black salt. I'm about to use my last batch here, which is on my altar. Yeah. This is my last one. And I use these to go around the perimeter of my home outside um, for protection and to keep, you know, keep all the negative things away. So there'll be a video of my black salt recipe coming up soon enough as well. So those are some of the plans I have. Um, some of them are, like I said, they're just slow in coming because I'm just so tired. Like right now, um, my youngest is down for a nap. She should be asleep by now because I put her down just before I started filming this. So I myself am about to take a nap um, before it's time to go get my oldest girl from the bus stop. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so that's it. So thank you for watching and blessed.